Andrew Kerr is in Holyrood. Uh, he's going to give us the lowdown. Uh, do, you, do we know any details about this, Andrew? Yes, that's right, uh, Gordon. Of course, that deal was uh, just announced shortly after midday. First of all, the Finance Secretary, Derek Mackay, confirmed he had struck the deal with the Greens, as you say, surprise, surprise. They're the likely suitors this time round. And then Patrick Harvey, the Greens co-convener, confirmed that as well. So he said as part of the deal, there was more money to protect local council services. There was also more money for public sector pay for people like teachers. There was also going to be more investment in low carbon initi initiatives as well, including possibly some rail services. We'll hear about that, I think further down the line and um, we're not exactly sure how much extra money is being promised we'll get that statement from Derek Mackay in Parliament in uh, under 20 minutes actually but uh, if you're taking more money out the budget you've got to get more money back in so there could be some consequences when it comes to tax and just to update you actually on the Lib Dem detail we've got some uh, interesting news on that when it comes to the ferry services in Orkney and Shetland the local MSPs there Tavish Scott and Liam MacArthur are going to back the budget to get that money for the ferry services but it's not exactly a positive move in a way for the Lib Dems having to support this budget they say this is gunboat diplomacy on the part of the Scottish Government and they say they can't slit the throats of their own constituents they really have to support this so this is just two Lib Dem MSPs having to pile in to support the budget for that ferry money the other three Willie Rennie, Alex Co Hamilton and Mike Rumbles are definitely definitely not supporting this budget gunboat diplomacy that will slit the throats of their own constituents have these folks been watching too many violent movies do you think Andrew um, you, you suggested a moment ago that there might be some movement on tax. Are you saying that the Scottish Government might propose more tax rises in order to cover this? I think they might try to sort out that anomaly where because they were uh, uh, following the, the kind of UK government line when it came to uh, not increasing the, the people in about the kind of 45,000 uh, bracket there. They were kind of leaving that alone this year. Um, I think they might address that, but we'll, we'll find out from Derek yeah. Mackay pretty soon. But I think because the Greens have secured that bit of extra cash, I think there will have to perhaps be a change in there. As for the other parties, of course, well, Labour were saying that uh, the tax rises didn't go far enough. The Conservatives were very critical. And as your guest, Margaret Smith, had pointed out, the Lib Dems had wanted more money for education and mental health services. But uh, we've got the deal with the Greens and it'll be interesting to watch the debate in the chamber, of course, because the other parties will likely be very critical of the Greens as they were last time already just before the budget deal was announced. Labour were saying the Greens were rolling over and having their tummies tickled by the SNP. I don't think I've ever done an interview with a correspondent that's had so many metaphors in it. It's absolutely extraordinary. Thank you very much indeed, Andrew.